research challenges the existing science about how tornadoes form. Historically, scientists thought tornado rotation starts up in the clouds and then forms a funnel which travels down. Yeah. But now new research shows that tornadoes may actually start on the ground and then build up. Hmm which feels like a direct indictment of what our eyes see. Right, when you <laughs> see video, uh, and you don't have to be a scientist, when you s anybody can see video of a funnel forming, and it always starts from the top. And works its way down. So we think. So for uh, years, this is what right. we've said, right? Like the difference between a funnel cloud and a tornado is that a funnel cloud comes down and makes contact with the ground. Right. That's when we define something as a tornado. Right. But there's a group of researchers that went out. Where was this? Texas. Yes. Um, and they looked at a, a, several tornadoes that broke out. Including a monster one that was like 300 miles or 300 mile an hour winds and mm. very wide. This was sort of an accidental discovery by them. Because this is not what they were looking for. Right. Mm -hmm. But they looked back at their images afterwards and said, hey, I can see in that photo that there's a tornado on the ground before we've seen anything on radar indicating a tornado. So higher up in the atmosphere where that radar is measuring, no rotation yet. How, how, how much before that? Up in the air is formed, like a minute, two minutes. It's a matter of minutes. Sure. Like it's not a tremendous amount. See, right. Of time. It's not like an hour that we see rotation, and then an hour later. So, but in terms of warning people, it might not make that big of a difference. I mean, a minute or two. I don't know if I, I'd say that, just because you know minutes do matter they do. in these things. Um, but yeah, it's not a dramatic change in the timing. But but the science is different, and it does suggest. Okay, maybe we are looking for these things the wrong way. Mm. So, especially if you look at the fact that our radar has gotten so good and we have so uh, many warnings, right? Because you get that rotation and you see it on our live uh, maps when we're kind of breaking into coverage, well, right? Right. And a lot of times, Chris or I or whoever that breaks in will say, okay, we have a radar indicated tornado, right? So, what that means is that there's a TVS, a tor tornado uh, vortex signature, on the radar that basically shows shows winds moving in opposite directions close to each other higher up in the atmosphere. But what if it, that's not the indicator? What right. if the real indicator is the rotation at the ground our, that meets the yes. rotation above or whatever? Are scientists it works? now going to be looking for ways to detect the rotation closer to the ground, do you think? I, I, I think so, but that would mean a change in the infrastructure. I think you would need mm. to have more radar sites down on the ground to kind of have that low level sweep. A lot of the radars we have are far enough apart that they are they're getting a higher angle mm. further up sure. in the clouds and that's where we're getting um, that signature. But it is interesting and you raised a, a better point I thought about this which is if we're just going on the rotation on the ground, if we're able to detect that, that means fewer warnings and the false positives, the radar indicated storm, hey, this may touch down. And people and will be paying attention, maybe. Right. More if, you, if your warning taking, then means, hey, this is happening now and you know every time, maybe you do listen to your local weather. Let's save some lives. More. Let's hope so, right?